Lesson five, smart snacks and beverages. Upon completion of the lesson, you will be able to explain how snacks and beverages are like mini meals and should contain foods from food groups. Identify nutrient rich beverages that can help build healthy eating patterns. Understand the benefits of drinking water for hydration. Using the nutrition facts label as a tool, analyze different beverages to determine if they are nutritious choices. Snacks. Choosing snacks from one of the five food groups will give you the nutrients you need to grow strong, be healthy, and learn in school. My name is Miss Bessie with Dairy Council of California representing the Let's Eat Healthy movement. I'll be your nutrition educator today and I am so excited to be here because we get to explore some of my favorite nutrition topics, snacking and extras. We all need to eat every day to make sure our body has the energy it needs to do daily activities like walk, read, think, sleep, and breathe. All of these activities take energy. This is why it is important to eat nutritious food from all five food groups every day during meals and snacks. Physical activity also uses energy and helps balance the food we eat, energy in, with how much energy our bodies use, energy out. Physical activity has many other benefits beyond using energy and is important for many reasons. Physical activity helps build strong muscles, including our hearts, because our hearts are muscles too. It helps grow strong bones. It helps you concentrate better so you can succeed in school. And last but not least, it's fun. As you can see, food choices and physical activity both play an important role in keeping us healthy. Staying physically active and eating nutritious foods from all five food groups will ensure that we maintain energy balance and give our bodies the nutrients they need to stay alert and happy throughout the day. The next question is, do all foods belong in a food group? Extras are foods that do not belong to any of the food groups. These foods do not contain enough nutrients and they do not have any health benefits. Instead, they contain extra fat, extra salt, and extra sugar. Extra fat, salt, and sugar make extras easy to overconsume, meaning too much energy in, and they do not contribute to overall health. Let's take a closer look. These foods are considered extras because they are high in sugar, fat, and salt, with little to no other nutrients. Cookies, candy, donuts, chips, French fries and bacon are often higher in non-nutritious calories from added fats or sugar. A calorie is the amount of energy provided by a food. It is best to eat more foods from the five food groups and fewer that don't fit into the food groups. Food with large amounts of added fats and sugars can be chosen less often in smaller quantities. In other words, they can be eaten in moderate amounts. Moderation is making most food choices with little or no added fats or sugars, or eating fewer extras. Extra foods are okay to eat once in a while, but they are not needed every day like nutritious foods from the five food groups. What comes to your mind when you think of a snack food? We often think of extras as snack foods, but in fact, Snacks are mini meals, eaten between meals, and they are very important to get enough nutrients every day. Sometimes you may get full at meals and miss important nutrients, making snacks an excellent opportunity to get all the nutrients you need in the day. Snacks from the five food groups are the best choices to give you the most health benefits. An easy way to build a nutritious snack is to pick one or two foods from the five food groups. Making snacks from the five food groups can be delicious and fun. 
feel free to get creative. Crunchy celery with creamy peanut butter and a few sweet raisins is one of my favorite snacks, and it looks like ants on a log. I also love to freeze yogurt in ice trays, and sometimes I'll drop a berry in each little compartment for extra fun. These are just a couple of ideas, but I am sure that all of you can come up with fantastic snack ideas too. Take a minute to pause the video and write down or think about two to three yummy snack ideas. Later today, make sure to share your fun ideas with your family. Next, let's think about how we can swap extra foods for food from the five food groups. Here, we have a cookie, which is an extra food, being swapped for celery, which is a vegetable, peanut butter, a protein, and a few raisins, which are fruit, to provide a nutritious snack. Let's see some more examples. Here, we have chips and a soda being swapped for veggies and hummus and a glass of milk. Now we have candy being swapped for tart apples and mixed nuts. Thank you for creating healthy snacks with me. Now let's review what we've learned today. Physical activity, eating foods from the five food groups and eating extra foods in moderation helps us maintain energy balance. Extras are foods that do not fit in any food group because they have extra fat, salt, or sugar. A snack is a mini meal. You can make a healthy snack by choosing one to two foods from the five food groups. Feel free to be creative when you're making your snacks and it is important to choose food group foods that you enjoy, but it's always fun to try something new. I hope you have fun practicing healthy snacking. Thank you for watching. Bye. Let's take a look at some nutrition labels for some snack foods. So we're gonna look at a chocolate bar and edamame. The first thing to look at is the serving size. So the chocolate bar, a serving size is five pieces or 43 grams. And edamame, a serving size is one cup or 155 grams. So the edamame already weighs three times more than the chocolate. The next thing to look at is the total added sugar. So you can see that the chocolate bar has 26 grams of added sugar. The edamame, on the other hand, has zero grams of added sugar. The chocolate has two grams of protein. And the edamame has 17 grams of protein. The chocolate has no nutritional value. The edamame has calcium, iron, and potassium, along with daily fiber of 32%. So calorically, they are about equal. The chocolate has 190 calories. The edamame has 189 calories, but the edamame is far more filling and far more nutritious than the chocolate bar. I'm not saying never have chocolate, I'm just saying eat it in moderation, which means not very often. Beverages can be divided into three groups. Water, which is not in a food group, will help hydrate your body and help it stay cool, especially when you exercise. Beverages that fit into a food group Examples include milk and pure fruit and vegetable juices. The third group is extras like soft drinks and fruit punch. So they have no nutritional value. So you need to think before you drink. So should you keep your milk or swap out your milk? You're right, you should keep your milk. Should you keep your soda or swap out your soda? 
you should swap out your soda for a better choice. Should you keep your sports drink or swap out your sports drink? You should swap out your sports drink. Should you keep your water or swap out your water? You should keep your water. Let's talk about drinking water. Water makes up two thirds of your body weight and helps to dig digest food and carry nutrients throughout the body. Next to air, water is the most important substance to keep you alive. Most of the water you need comes from the beverages you drink like juice, water, and milk. Water helps to regulate body temperature through perspiration or sweating, especially when physically active. Think before you drink which beverage you will choose, write which beverage you will choose to help your body hydrate and stay healthy. Explain your choice. So typically, you need to drink either orange juice or milk with your meals and drink water the rest of the time. The water is one of the most important things that you um, have to keep your body healthy. It helps you stay hydrated and it helps digest your food. Class recap. Snacks and beverages are like mini meals and should contain foods from food groups, not extras. Understand the benefits of drinking water for hydration. Using the nutrition facts label as a tool, analyze different beverages to determine if they are nutritious choices. Don't forget to pack a healthy snack. This lesson was brought to you by the Dairy Council of California, Orange County Department of Education, and Miss Ford.